What is up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're wanting to make this exact 3D mock-up of an oversized t-shirt for your store, Instagram or social media, make sure to carry on watching this video. Uh, for only $2 you can get it off my site and here's how. So to get the oversized t-shirt file, you can go to my website, click on the oversized t-shirt with no plugins, add it to your cart and download. I'm selling all the products on my store for $2. If you spend more than $4 on my site, you get 50% off. So make sure to use sub 1k. Once you have downloaded the file off my site, you can head over to blender.org and download this free 3D software. Once you've downloaded the oversized t-shirt off my site, you can go into your files and open up the project file. We're going to want to use the .blender file. Once that is open, you should get something like this. What I needed to do is go into the viewport shader and reveal it so that you get your results. Now it's going to be pink at first, but now we're going to open up Photoshop. So to do that, we're going to go back to our folder and click on designs. Now your black t-shirt design and your white t-shirt design is basically the same thing, it's just a different base. So we're going to start with the white t-shirt. So let's open that up. Once you're in Photoshop, you'll see the logo placement. These two in the middle here are your tags, so your neck tag as well as your side at the bottom tag. Um, I already know I'm going to be placing my logo somewhere in the front here, so I'm going to use that as reference and let's just hide the placement. We can then grab the logo we want and put it in there. Just for an example, I'm also going to use this on the tag so you guys know how it all looks. But once you're done with that, you can click save and go back into Blender. From Blender, we're going to go to the white t-shirt design in the shader editor and we're going to unlink the data block and then open it again. We're now going to look for the folder that we originally downloaded, uh, which is the oversight t-shirt folder and then go into our designs and then click white t-shirt design. And just like that, you should get your result. So you can see we have the logo up front, logo on the tag at the top, and then on the bottom as well. To set up your black t-shirt design, we're going to do the same thing. We can see that it is pink. So let's go into the folder we downloaded, go to our designs, black t-shirt design. I'm going to place my logo on the front, hide the placement and hit save. We're then going to go back into Blender, unlink the data block, open, look for our folder and hit designs and then do black t-shirt designs. Just like that, you have your black oversized T. Now that we've done the first two, your black and your white, all the rest will be working correctly. So if you wanna get static straight on render, you got that. If you wanna do the walking 360, got that for you as well. If you wanna do walking straight on white, got that for you as well. Now for exporting, we're going to go into our output settings. Depending on your computer, let's set this to 1080 by 1080. Uh, this is basically a one by one crop. Then from here, we're going to set our output. So we can go into our folder. I'm going to export this straight into the exact same folder that this project is in. We're going to make a new folder called renders and then just say 01, whatever you want to call it and hit OK. This is going to give you a PNG. So for each frame, it's going to give you a PNG. Now this is much better to do because if your PC does crash, you can start um, from where it left off. So say you're rendering and it gets to about 115 and it crashes, all you got to do is go to frame start 115 um, and then it'll start from there and carry on going. I don't normally export in video format just because that quality and PNGs are better. But the one thing about PNGs is you're going to have to take the folder, take all the footage and import it as an image sequence into your software like Premiere Pro or whatever other software you're using. Um, but if you export as a video, then you'll just get the video file. Uh, so to change it to video, uh, you can just click on file format and then you can select one of the video formats here, whatever best suits you. Once you're happy with that, we can go up to render and we're going to do render animation. This is going to render straight to that location and you'll see it will start on 61. Um, once that's done, it will do 62, 63, 64, 65. And then those images you're going to drag and drop into your editing software to create a video. If 
you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like comment and sub if you're new yet. and don't forget to turn the notification bell on i drop discounts codes in my discord weekly and if you need any help make sure to pop in there as well i'll see you guys in the next one peace